And today, we are extremely pleased to unveil a fully electric autonomous bus, a full-size bus that's, 20, that's 12 meters long. Using Volvo's 12 meter long electric bus, NTU researchers have developed cutting edge technologies which enable it to operate autonomously. The bus is equipped with numerous sensors such as light detection and ranging sensors, otherwise known as LIDARs for short, and a special GPS system that uses multiple data sources to give pinpoint location accuracy. And it's really a milestone in the development of public transport in Singapore, but also in the world. Um, showcasing the result of the Volvo NTU LTA Autonomous Bus Research Program. Today is, is a landmark uh, in our autonomous bus journey. Today it's actually a world first. Uh, we launched the first 12 meter bus, electric and full autonomous. And uh, we do this in cooperation with uh, Land Transport Authority in Singapore and working together with NTU, the leading university in Singapore. This is an important milestone. It's the first 12 meter bus that can operate electric, full autonomous, without human intervention on a route. So it's a combination of a GPS system and a laser system. And with the systems, you build up a kind of digital map of the surroundings of the bus. And when you drive the bus, you compare reality with this digital map. And then you can find obstacles, detect obstacles, and take actions on them. So we are testing the vehicles here at Centran, which is the testing facility for urban environment in Singapore. Then we're also testing the buses at uh, the depot, uh, simulating autonomous depot driving. The autonomous future is all about safety and, of course, operational efficiencies. Uh, helping the driver to uh, drive safely and uh, in a good way. Also gradually moving to an operation where the driver can become more of a host and also looking at applications where you, you drive without the driver actually. So when we talk about the cities of the future, it's very much about creating sustainable cities, uh, relieving cities of congestions, emissions and noise. And then electromobility combined with autonomous has some, some really great features to offer. I mean, we have a clean vehicle that operates autonomous, clean, safe and operationally very efficient.